different kinds of plants have significantly different nutrients need and these needs change during each plant's growth cycle by using different combinations of grow micro bloom grower is able to fulfill exact needs of the plant at different at each stage in the plant's life cycle in hydroponics the plant roots are constantly provided with all water oxygen and nutrients the challenge for the grower is to keep up with the plant's need and to avoid damaging it with either excess or deficiency of minerals as a general rule a plant consumes more nitrogen during the formative or vegetative stage and more phosphorus and potassium and magnesium as it flowers through its growth cycle the plant will also consume uh calcium sulfur and micronutrients such as iron manganese boron molybdenum and copper micro the foundation or building block of the hydroponic series provides nitrogen and calcium as well as trace minerals which are essential for a comprehensive hydroponic plant diet by adding grow and micro the plant will receive additional nitrogen and potassium which stimulate structural and foliar growth to stimulate flower and fruit development bloom is added to provide the necessary phosphorus potassium magnesium and sulfur always start with a reservoir filled with water and then the add the concentrated nutrients one by one never mix the nutrients together in their concentrated form as this will call new uh, cause nutrients lockout making some minerals unavailable it is best to begin by adding micro stirring well and then adding grow and or bloom as per stage if both growth and bloom are used add one stir well and then add another for seed cutting or delicate seedling use 0.25 ml of each nutrients per liter water for vegetative growth stage or use 3 ml grow 2 ml micro and 1 ml bloom to 1 liter water for late vegetative to pre bloom stage use 2 ml of each nutrient in 1 liter water for bloom initiation to ripening stage use 1 ml grow to 2 ml micro to 3 ml bloom to 1 liter water utkarsh grow micro bloom are made from highly quality high quality refined minerals this ensures high quality crops production but prevents the crop from being considered organic